Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So, welcome to your readings for September 2018, yeah? Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all the new subscribers, but thank you to all the returning subscribers. Uh, your support is everything to me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, we just recently hit 10,000, and I'm super, super happy. I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you to all you guys. You are freaking amazeballs, yeah? <laughs> so, uh, just a few things. One, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, and the energies are interchangeable, okay? So it could be you that we're talking about. It could be the other person that we're talking about, if we're talking about another person. Um, these aren't necessarily love readings, but love definitely comes out because I am channeling for the Venus sign. Your Venus sign is uh, how you approach love, how your information about that. So if you are looking for information about like, your love life, I would recommend, me personally, I recommend that you always start with your Venus sign. You can find that out um, if you pull you know uh, pull up your birth chart yeah drop your birth chart now about birth charts um, I want to make a little bit of a uh, bit of a suggestion um, this might be a bit of a long intro if people want to leave a timestamp go right ahead um, but I do recommend that you guys listen to the intro at least once especially if you're watching like a bunch of different signs um, just listen to the intro at least once and then like do whatever um, but uh, I recently got into Vedic Astrology, which is uh, also known as Sidereal, I believe. Um, and uh, I did this because my spiritual team, my spiritual guides really pushed it for me to start investigating. And I did so. And I learned that my signs are different. Okay, So I always thought of, uh, I grew up as a Taurus. My sun sign was Taurus. But then when I did the Eastern chart, the Vedic chart, um, sidereal chart, I learned that my son is actually in Aries. And when, <laughs> when I learned about that and, and I really like investigated and I read it and I like felt it out, it, it immediately clicked. Like it felt right. I was like, Oh, Oh man. Because when I started to look back on like how I present myself, how I like how I work in the world and everything like that, um, I am very much an Aries. <laughs> So that makes sense. I still kind of resonate with Taurus, but um, very much in Aries. So then other than that, you know, in, in the Western chart, um, my moon sign was Leo and my rising sign is Venus. I'm sorry, rising sign is Venus. No, my rising sign is Virgo and my Venus is in Aries. But then in the Eastern chart, my moon sign is Cancer, my rising sign is Leo, and then my Venus is in Pisces. And when I looked at all that uh, that stuff too, I was like, oh my God, that makes so much more sense. Because when it came to the Western chart, I was like, how am I so intuitive, but I don't have, I barely have any water in my chart. I think in the Western chart, I think I have like one planet in Scorpio. Um, and it might, I think it might be Neptune or something. I don't know. But then when it came to the Eastern chart, there was all the water I was missing, right? So for me personally, things really clicked and I understood, I came to a better understanding of myself. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is I encourage you to check that out. Um, you can watch my videos or any of the videos, whether you, whether you resonate more with Western or Eastern astrology, it really doesn't matter. It's just um, all about how you feel how this connects with you, how it resonates with you, okay? Um, so I'm, I put uh, some links to some websites to, that are, I find are to be really, really great um, in giving you your chart. Um, actually, there's one, there's one that actually will give you both, but I'll give you two, two different options. Um, they're going to be in this description box below, and uh, I encourage you guys to, you know, insert your um, your birth data, your birth information, and check it out. See what comes out, and if you resonate with something, go for it, and then start to watch the videos from that point of view. Like if now, if you all of a sudden you find that things are different when it comes to the Eastern chart, and you want, and you kind of resonate with it already, and you want to watch videos uh, in line with that, I encourage you to do so. You know, it's really all about what you resonate with, how, what you feel about the situation. Yeah. Okay. With that said, um, I'll, a few more things. One, you can find me in New York City at Om Shanti Bookshop. 
every Monday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Om Shanti is located on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in the East Village of Manhattan. So come check me out if you're in the area. I would love to meet you guys in person. Um, the, uh, the link to the website uh, for Om Shanti Bookshop is in the description box below. So you can go to the website, get their phone number, give them a call. If you want to schedule a reading beforehand, you're more than welcome to do so. Or at the same time, walk-ins are definitely welcome. Um, and it's a great shop, you know, they've got all kinds of really nice stuff. The crystal selection is fantastic. So if you're into crystals, I recommend coming down and checking us out. We have a lot of great stuff there. Um, you can get some crystals wrapped and put into jewelry for you at the shop. Um, if you do want some crystal wrapping, ask for Martha. She's great at that. Um, what else? Oh, I am available for private readings. Uh, my email address is in the description box below, along with a description of all the readings that I offer, all in the description box. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go down into the description box, look at the options, read through them, see which one might, may work well for you, and then throw shoot me an email. If you don't know which reading would be best for you, go ahead and email me, and we'll chat, and I'll help you decide which one you would like, yeah? Okay, so for the readings this month, um, I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, guys. I love it. It's just so pretty. And then I am closing out the readings with Oracle Guidance from my favorite, Oracle of the Unicorns. Yeah, I love unicorns. I personally believe that I am a unicorn, but you know what? That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> All right, guys. I guess that's it. Thank you for sticking in to with the with the long intro with me. If you did, if you didn't, don't worry about it. It's fine. You can't even hear this part of the message anyway. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get to it. Hi, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the month of September 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah. Let's get into it. <laughs> let's get into it. All right. Hmm. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Leo for the month of September 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, so Leo, I, I mean, right off the bat, I'm seeing yellow. Um, it's definitely your energy, bright, vibrant. This is the uh, sacred, not the sacral, I'm so sorry, the solar plexus chakra. Um, so this is like the center of your willpower, drive. Uh, okay, um, I'm seeing some images here. Uh, I I'm seeing some cards already. I'm seeing the four of wands and I'm seeing the empress. Um, some of you... Okay, so some of you may, okay, we've got flyers here. Boop, look at that, Leo. Um, King of Wands, here you are. Uh, this is, this could be a Divine Masculine, um, but this is definitely, this most definitely could be your energy as the King of Wands. Um, Someone that's very passionate and very driven, very focused. So this, I'm definitely seeing your energy here, okay? Um, but this could be someone else's energy towards you. Could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have the King of Pentacles here. So you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, and this could also be you. You could have earth in your chart. Uh, and we have the Eight of Cups in reverse here. I'm really getting an energy. Um, someone is f someone is fixed and determined and is not walking away. <laughs> I, 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 this either might be this could be you, Leo, um, in that you're embodying both of these energies, the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Uh, this could be the other person that you're connecting with. Embodying both of these energies, the King of Pentacles, King of Wands. It could be two separate people. It could be one fire sign, one earth sign. Or one person embodying the King of Wands energy, the other person embodying the King of Pentacles energy. Doesn't have to be like the earth or fire sign. Um, 
I'm seeing what the, the biggest thing that's coming through here is I'm seeing there's a fire sign and there's an earth sign connecting and neither one of them are walking away from each other. I heard, <laughs> I just heard, we're too grown for that. <laughs> I'm, I'm also hearing and it's time to make this right. I'm hearing I'm not leaving you behind. Okay. Well, that sure is nice. <laughs> um, you're definitely dealing with a fixed, fixed sign. Okay, so there's definitely uh, a Taurus in there. Leo, you're a fixed sign too. Um, what are the air? I think Aquarius is fixed and... Which one is in water? Is it Cancer or is it Scorpio? I don't remember. But I'm definitely getting fixed sign here. Okay, so if it's not an Earth sign, if it's not like a Taurus, it's if it's not a Taurus or a Leo, um, it's another one of the fixed signs within the air or the or within air or water. Okay, <laughs> but you're not walking away from each other for whatever this flyer situation is going on. You guys are not walking away from each other. And that really is a good thing. That really is a good thing. And oh my goodness. Okay, so I, I was saying, I'm picking up, I was seeing cards in my in my head as, as, as I was shuffling and I was seeing the Four of Wands and the Empress. So marriage could definitely be on the table right now. And if it's not, if it's not being offered just yet, these are the energies of like... If you guys are not walking away from each other, this is definitely energy that could lead to marriage down the road. And admit, I'm not saying it's like going to happen swiftly. I'm saying like extended view down the road, like you guys could be exhibiting energies that would potentially bring you into to marriage. I'm also picking up um, someone might be trying to get pregnant too with the Empress and the Four of Wands. Uh, fertility and abundance within home. Goodness, I'm having trouble shuffling. Okay, Leo. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Leo. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing yellow here. So I'm seeing willpower. Passionate drive is what I just heard. Ready to get the ball rolling, ready to keep on moving. I like this, Leo. This feels really good right now. Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Two more shuffles. And then we'll get into this. Five, five, five. <laughs> yeah, look at what just look at what just caught my attention at the bottom of the deck. Death. Transformation. Death can definitely sim can symbolize marriage sometimes. Look at that. All right, Leo. Last shuffle. And I'm not trying to say any, somebody's about to propose. Yeah, that actually absolutely could be possible. But I'm just getting energy. I'm feeling energies of long term. Whatever is going on between you and someone else, if you guys are really stepping up and not walking away from each other, like really deciding, trying to stick this out and figure it out and make it better and make things right, you guys definitely could be heading towards marriage, period. Okay. All right, cool. So you've got the hanged man to start. Could be dealing with a Pisces, all right? But um, you might be in a precarious position right now in, or, and you might be getting a, a different view of something. Like you're seeing something differently, okay? This could be you. This could be the other person too, all right? That's exhibiting this energy. They could be seeing you differently. You could be seeing them differently. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got the Ace of Wands here, guys. So yeah, someone is definitely seeing something differently. And someone is definitely getting inspired to move forward. Passionately. This is that passionate drive that I'm seeing with the yellow energy for you, Leo. I mean, wow. All right, here we go. We've got the High Priestess here. So something might be a secret. But I'm hearing downloads from the universe. Understanding. I just heard she's teaching you something. So you could be learning something intuitively, getting some sort of intuitive guidance. And you've got the seven of pentacles here. 
I'm picking, I'm feeling like this is harvest time. And we're in Virgo energy right now. We're in, you know, this is Virgo season. So this is definitely a time of harvest. Okay. So the seven of pentacles can just, can, can symbolize it's time for harvest for something. It's also it can symbolize um, Virgo season is a really important season for you right now, potentially. Um, there could be some major developments. There could be some fruit of your labors. So, i.e. harvest. And you could be working on understanding things in a different, on a different level especially with the hanged man here. Okay. So first set of current energies for the first half of the month, you got <laughs> the Knight of Wands. There's that passionate drive again. Um, so this could be you, Leo. Could be another air, uh, fire sign another Leo or uh, Aries or a Sagittarius. Someone's quickly, swiftly wanting to come in real quick. What is this coupled with? The Queen of Swords in reverse. Mm, that's interesting. What's that about? I think what, what, what I'm getting with this is this is not Queen of Swords in reverse energy where someone is acting like this. I really feel like someone is releasing the Queen of Swords mentality or energy. Someone may have been in the Queen of Swords energy for a long time and now they're releasing that and that's either allowing them to move forward in a fast and passionate way or it's allowing someone else to come in swiftly, passionately. Okay. Second set of current energies for the first half of the month. <laughs> There's the Empress. And she's upright. You definitely could be dealing with a Taurus. There are other signs that are associated with the Empress. I just don't remember what they are right now, but the Empress really just screams Taurus to me. Okay. And the Empress is coupled with huh, the Fool. So there's abundant energy towards a brand new beginning right now. Abundant energy, like overflowing with energy of a brand new start. Okay? I'm hearing the future looks bright. Excellent. Now the Empress can symbolize the divine feminine in the situation. If you're in like a twin flame situation, <clears throat> the Empress is the divine feminine. All right, so we've got all this gorgeous, beautiful energy here for you, Leo, but what's your current challenge for the first half of the month? The King of Cups. Hmm. King of Cups is coupled with, woof, the Knight of Swords. So the current challenge is not rushing in too hard, too fast. The current challenge is, yes, someone wants to express their love. Someone wants to express themselves, uh, uh, um, be emotionally available, be emotionally vulnerable even. But the challenge is not to do it in a manner that's destructive, that is willy-nilly, um, that is not thought out. There we go. Not planned. Not thought out. And I'm not trying to say that you have to have every minute detail understood, but also the challenge is to, to still dot your I's and cross your T's. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that. <laughs> Potential outcome for the first half of the month. You've got six of pentacles, balance of give and take. Okay. I just, I literally just heard honoring someone's wishes. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Page of Swords. Communication. Communicative a balance. Uh, a beneficial conversation. Maybe even a healing conversation. Sorry, guys. <laughs> 
This is nice energy. This is a really, a, a nice, a very nice reading so far, Leo. I really like this. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> second half of the month. Uh, energies for the surrounding energies. Current energies for the second half of the month. You got the Knight of Cups. Upright. So this is an offer, an invitation. A truce is what I just heard. Huh. Okay. Knight of Cups is coupled with the Wheel of Fortune, Destiny, Karma, Change, Cycles Ending, Ready to Go, Moving Forward Passionately is what I'm hearing, in a loving manner. I'm getting, suddenly I'm feeling energies of the holiday season. So something might really come through, and I know this is for the second half of September, but I really feel like something could really change some sort of start could change around the second half of the month that can that might give you a, 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 a deeper development around the holiday season so maybe keep an eye out that for that for some of you a uh, second set of current energies for the second half of the month you got okay the five of wands in reverse that conflict is being let go of Released. Um, I just heard bamboozled. So I feel like someone may have come to the realization that they've been bamboozled in the sense that there were too many cooks in the kitchen and too many uh, opinions in the situation. And that caused a lot of turmoil. But that's being released. I'm really picking up an energy of no longer listening to the peanut gallery. And instead listening to your own inner truth. You, The five of wands is coupled with... Oh my God. You guys, this is such a beautiful reading. The Six of Cups upright. Yeah. Bamboozlement. Somebody was sticking their nose where it did not belong and it was causing trouble with a soulmate, with a deep karmic connection, I heard. Now, a karmic connect... Oh, I get it. The karmic connection was with the, the, the bamboozler, the uh, external, the outside party, the peanut gallery. They were trying to get in the way of this soulmate relationship. But with the energies that are going on right now, it looks like they failed. Because no one's listening to them anymore. <laughs> well, I like that. <laughs> yeah, bamboozlement. I keep hearing that. Someone really... Third party energy. Yeah, I just heard that again. But it's all being let go of. So that's good. Your challenge for the second half of the month, Leo, you got, uh-oh, Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. With, woo, the Three of Swords in reverse. So what does this mean? Don't panic, guys. Don't panic. Yeah. The challenge for the second half of the month is overcoming the third party energy. But this is really deep. This goes really, really deep. Because this third party energy, what the Ace of Cups here is referring to is not it is um self-love. Love of the self, okay? So the this and it's and it's directly, directly connected with the energies of uh, the Five of Wands here and the Six of Cups. Now, the Six of Cups doesn't just talk about this deep soulmate uh, relationship. It also talks about the past. It talks about your childhood, okay? So I feel like this is so deeply rooted that the people, this peanut gallery that we've been, that we're referring to here, it probably started around childhood. And um, it caused a lack of self-love in whoever was involved with this. Like whoever, whoever, <laughs> bamboozlement, yeah. They led you, they led somebody astray. And so now, as the karmic cycles change here in the second half of the month, I'm, I'm seeing, a, what I'm seeing right now is as these karmic cycles change, people start to realize that there were people in the past that were betraying them. Why? Because they were sticking their noses where they didn't belong, putting their opinions a two cents in, in a, in a way that was, yeah, bamboozlement, was destructive 
because it took someone, uh, it, it, it caused someone to lack self-love, self-respect, that kind of thing, okay? So it's coming, it, it, literally this is coming to terms with that kind of energy. And what causes this, what kicks this off is this expression of love. That changes the karmic cycle, changes the karmic ties. I'm getting, oh goodness, wow. I, I, wow. I'm, as I was holding the Knight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, I was feeling an energy of somebody comes back around and is like, and expresses the fact that they actively still love this person, whoever, someone. actively like they and and that realization sparks almost like a, a snowball it creates almost like a snowball effect and i feel like somebody comes to terms with what re, what what love with with, with ooh, excuse me with what true love really is and what truly loving someone really means and so then that illuminates all the people from the past that tried to manipulate and called it love. Bamboozlement. Oof. That is deep, Leo. That is really fucking deep, man. <laughs> All right. Um, potential outcome for the second half of the month. You've got nine of pentacles. Imba uh, uh, not imbalance. Um, um, shoot. What is the word I'm looking for? Independence. There we go. Standing on your own two feet. Okay. Nine of Pentacles is coupled with... Ooh, the Two of Swords. What is that? What is that? Very interesting. I feel like... That's so weird. With all that said, I feel like someone at towards the end of the month, someone still may be at odds with giving up their independence. Someone might be at odds with not remaining single. Also though, what I'm also getting is um, someone wants to assert their independence, but doesn't necessarily know how to do it, maybe. Doesn't know how to go about cutting some sort of ties. Because I'm seeing here with the Two of Swords that someone is needing to cut some sort of tie, but they don't know how to do it, or they're refusing to see it, maybe. I'm getting that this could be an external party. So who, this could be the view uh, uh, of, <laughs> yeah, because I'm hearing bamboozlement again. So this could be the person that, or the, the, the entities, the people, whatever, that have been, have been enacting this bamboozlement may not want to see whoever is trying to separate as an independent party. They may not want to see that person for who they truly are. They, yeah, bamboozlement. They are trying, they may put up a fight against this newfound independence. They, it's like they don't want to see it for what it truly is. They don't want to see someone for who they truly are. Bamboozlement. Okay. But check it out. I just heard divine masculine because I was going to say something. I was going to say, check it out. And then it finished, the spirit finished the phrase divine masculine. So I'm going to say it that way. So check it out, divine masculine. If they don't want to see you as who, for who you truly are, that is their problem. Bamboozlement. It's their problem, not yours. <laughs> their problem, not yours. Okay. Excellent. So let's get into the oracle guidance here from, yeah, bamboozlement, <laughs> from the uh, unicorn. So spirit, please give us the best messages for Leo for this month of September in relation to this reading. Please. 
September 2018, yeah? Hee <laughs> hee They just keep repeating that word in my head, bamboozlement. Bamboozlement. All right, best messages, please, Spirit, for Leo. One. Two. That's enough. <laughs> okay. Um, so we have receive. And we have expansion. And on the bottom of the deck, I was told, I was guided to do that. Um, and so it's trust. Okay, trust says, leap into the unknown, have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. Excellent. So trust what's going on. Trust the expansion. Trust the process ahead. Because it's going really well. You have receive. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. So in terms of this bamboozlement here, what the universe is asking you to do is to believe that you are worthy. You're worthy of receiving this, whatever this is, this love, this job, this employment, whatever this is for you, you are absolutely worthy of receiving it. Don't let the bamboozlement of the past keep you down, keep you from believing that you are not worthy. And also don't let what happened in the past within this situation keep you from believing you are worthy of reconciliation if that is on the table for you, okay? And then with expansion, you've got spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. Sh express yourself. Show the world who you are, who you truly are. Bamboozlement. And if they don't like it, that's their problem, Leo. Not yours. But you have every right to be free. You have every right to fly like a motherfucking eagle. Or in this case, a unicorn. This is great. This is such a great reading, Leo. All right. So there it is, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of September. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.